Cheers. We're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one-way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the U.S., we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000-mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. Stop. Up. Out of the water. Oh uh, yeah, you can pull it up all the way. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am? That's where the town dog is. Just get Chris. All right, Pivot. We'll see you later. Be good. We love you. I think we've gotten into geese territory. We are just now ashore in St. Michael's. It was quite the fiasco earlier today. Um, we had Chris from Taylor for Two. Unfortunately, he was dragging anchor, which was just like, it's never a good sign. Of course, like he's been here for a day. It was fine for the first day and just really unlucky. 
and we were trying to hook on to it so that way we could raft up to him before he dragged past, but he did drag past, but we were able to work together and I called him and we moved up the line and everything was good, put out like we doubled the chain. So uh, that was that was it. That could happen to anybody. It's happened to us a few times and it's just nice when, you know, it, we're able to get off soft mud and all that, all that jazz. So that was very good. And then there was a couple that had anchored um, a little bit more uh, out out in the river and they were on a sailboat and so they were dinging back to their boat and like right before they got to the boat that I was on the pivot area their engine almost fell off into the water so I was like right there just finished helping out so I offered to help them and their bracket something broke where their motor almost fell into the water so they couldn't go so I towed them to their boat <laughs> and it was just like one thing after another which is kind of nuts because there's only three boats in this anchorage us them and our friend that's doing the loop. Um, but you know what? It could happen to anybody, and it's just always good when nothing, no damage happens or nothing major happens. It's nice then when we can actually help people instead of always getting help. It feels like 90 degrees here. It is so hot. Probably the hottest day of the year for us, not being at a dock or anything. And it makes me want to go for a swim, maybe later. But this walk and exploring St. Michael's will absolutely have a cold beverage. It's uh, non-negotiable. So we're here, and what we could do is walk up Talbot Street. Yeah, I think the like brewery is like over here though. Yeah. So maybe what we do instead is we take this nature trail to here, mm -hmm. and then we go up here because like there's the maritime museum, and then we like make because this is like the shopping district, like where the main stuff is. So then we walk back this way, and then we end at the brewery. Let's do it. Okay. This nature trail is beautiful. Like, you know, it's the end of spring, so everything is very green. The birds are chirping. It's definitely very hot and humid. area in the Chesapeake in particular is a lot of history which we love to learn about and we just learned that St. Michael's one of the famous local stories from the, the town is that it was famous for fooling the British in the War of 1812 because when they were being shelled and bombarded from uh, from the water via cannons and stuff like that um, they put their lanterns up in the top of the trees to basically fool the British that they, they were higher than they actually were and so I don't think they had a single casualty because they did that, which is just kind of interesting. Now Justine's has been here for over 30 years and they are featured on Man vs. Food because they have this dish called the Titanic. It's a food challenge. You have to finish it within 30 minutes and it's sink or swim. And so they're famous for their shakes. And uh, what we got was a uh, espresso caramel shake. There you go. Especially today. Yeah, today is so hot. It's very refreshing. Cheers! Cheers.
And we are enjoying some beers at Eastern Shore Brewery. And they're pretty good so far. I got the Summer Crush Orange. Elliot got the Strawberry Shakedown. Chris, what did you get? I had, this was the Situation Critical IPA. Situation It's delicious. Nice. Yeah, so we're just enjoying the local brews. Opposite when you come in, you just pull yourself up. So. Nice. But you have to be careful because you can't tip. <laughs> oh, nice. Cool. That's neat. Versus stepping in. Yeah. That concludes our day exploring St. Michael's and this beautiful little Chesapeake town on the eastern shore of Maryland. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow as we cruise to another destination along the Chesapeake Bay. And thanks again for saving my boat. Hopefully you're not filming this. Part. Absolutely not. But we can edit. <laughs> That's what editing is for. <laughs>